Welcome back to Marrakesh. Welcome back to Hitman. Welcome back to the dojo. I'm Jeff. I'm John. And John, did you know that right now the Marrakesh level for uh, Hitman is free? Uh, it's like their summer thing. They're getting people hyped up for Hitman 2. So even if you don't have any of the game, you can download, I believe, the base, and then you can download the Marrakesh level, I think, for free. Uh, so I thought... You know, when Marrakesh came out, we did, uh, I think I just did like one video with Brian Salisbury and then one Patreon video. Uh, and the first one went okay. Wait, you didn't have like 12 videos on this one level? No, I didn't. I didn't. I know. We, didn't we do like 12 videos for every other level? I think I did two parts and a Patreon for most of the levels in the game. So, uh, but uh, I figured we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk around. We're going to do a couple of different. Uh, kill types, and then we're going to um, I'm t hopefully at the same time kind of show people some of the stuff that's in Marrakesh. So Marrakesh is a really big level, and there are two targets. Uh, there's an army general that's in a an abandoned school, and then there is um, a, a, a like, like a an industrialist that's like hooked up in the consulate in the here, and there's a big protest going on in front of the consulate, and the army is waiting to step in. In fact, we can even see one of the coolest things about this particular level, uh, in comparison to something like say Sapienza, is that um, you have this this square over here that has just like a gajillion people in it. So like right here, you can see that leading up to the consulate, there's just like whole shit ton of NPCs over here. But we're going to do um, we're going to do a couple of kills, one that's kind of tangential to one that I did before but a little bit cooler and then one that is um, that's just kind of basic kind of working down the list. Uh, and then we're going to do a couple of other things because uh, you know, uh, funzo. Uh, okay. uh, let's see. I think I got lost a little bit. I'm going to come up here. Um, so our first one is uh, to get into the army base, there is a. Am I lost? No, you I'm are not lost. all over the place. I'm not lost. Um, so, in order to get into the army base, there is one way that there's a bunch of different ways that you can get in. You can actually just kind of sneak in in your suit if you want to, but one of the ways that you can do it is that the army has these guys over here that are basically um, masquerading as like a freedom fighter group, and they're putting up these posters all over town. Um, and you can basically get this guy. He just said he's going to put up one more poster, and then um, uh, they're going to go back to the base to print more posters because they're out. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take his outfit and then use that to get into the base. And there's this particular one has an awful lot of like walking around or like a lot of walking around. So I figure it'll give us a chance to kind of see a little bit of the level. So. Because here comes this guy, and he's going to stop right over here. Fortunately, there is a little uh, area back here, and there's a guy, there's a guard that's right there. But if the guard doesn't stick around, he'll walk away. And when he does, we can basically just throw this can, and uh, this guy should go, what? And then he'll come in here to check it out. And then when he gets to the doorway, we can go, J -j 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 -j. oh, shit, somebody heard me. Uh, uh. Are you kidding me? You kidding me with this shit? Did I? Okay, can I change clothes? If I can change clothes before he gets in the door, there we go. And I think that the, I think it would be all right. You have that guilt. Okay, or not, or I'll knock this guy out. Whatever. Uh, either way is fine. Put him in the in there too. <laughs> you have a friend. Everybody's got a friend. So anyway, this. That was not the most elegant way to do this, but no, we, but you did it. We got the the we got the uh, the disguise that we're looking for. So we're gonna go back and say, "Hey, I'm done," and then they'll be like, "All right, let's go back to base." So, hey guys, done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. Now I think that this one, if you've never done this before, actually starts with you having to like look at a. Uh, a poster that's somewhat near the army base, and it starts off the kind of little. Because this is one of those ones where you can just kind of follow the arrows, and they'll show you where to go. Um, but anyway, Marrakesh is interesting, and I don't think that they've got the because there's a there's a remix version of this level that takes place at night. Yeah, that's got uh, some different targets, and then there's a bunch of escalation ones because this one level has a lot of um, rooftops that you can get onto, and. I think the escalation levels are mostly like um, snipers, right? Is you have to kill a certain number of people within a certain amount of time with uh, sniper rifle. In fact, um, 
I think that one of the special sniper rifles that you got with the like the anniversary or the game of the year or whatever the thing is, uh, you have to actually unlock by doing some of the little missions over here. But that guy in the yellow hat seems suspicious. Which you guy? should murder him. Oh, that that guy? Yeah, we're murder we're him right now. I'm in the middle of a bazaar. I'm in the middle of a lamp shop, John. Look at all these lamps. Yeah, I murder mean, him with a lamp. Hit that him with star a one looks like it hurt. I, don't, I can't just grab the star lamp and smash him in the face with it. Well, then what kind of game is this? It's, and what kind of assassin are you? I, I've got a gun. I've got, like, knives and sniper rifles. Right and Who cares? Look at this guy. This is the fortune teller. In the nighttime one, he's actually in the fortune teller shop. You can get his um, his outfit, and then there's a whole bunch of uh, things that you can get for, like, kill five people with an axe oh, while sucks. you're dressed as the fortune teller. Okay. So... Uh, I'm just saying, that guy was suspicious. He started walking next to you. He was in your group. Yeah. And you know, I think he, I think he was trying to, look, trying to. Well, then we gotta, we gotta play it cool, right? We gotta stay on, on the DL. We gotta stay under cover. No, you murder that motherfucker. No, it's right in front of everybody. Just playing Jeff. Five, so we're five minutes in, and we're playing Jeffing it up. No, not necessarily. Just you know. Oh, just shoot him and then like run away. No, I hit him in the head with the star lamp and be done with it. I can't pick up the star lamp. Then what good are you, Jeff? I could throw like a brick at it. I could throw uh, throw like a wrench in his face. I think these are the. Oh no, wait! Over there is a different way in. I think it's in this little alcove. Are the posters? Yeah, that's where you would actually start this kind of little chain of events. Move along, printer. Go straight to the printing room. There's also a weird thing where because your character is like technically a printer. Um, like people have one-off comments that they'll make based on the costume that you're wearing. Yeah, and so people be like, "Well, that reminds me, I need to get some business cards." And I'm like, "This guy does not look like he works at fucking Kinko's, right?" <laughs> like, well, you have you ever been to Marrakesh? Uh, no, I don't know what Kinko's Marrakesh is like. Maybe this is what all uh, what all people what all uh, Kinko's uh, in Marrakesh look like. Um. So anyway, that, this guy is unlocking another thing. This is the one that we actually did where you can take a prisoner's place mm. and then use it to assassinate the general. Um, but that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. No, we've got we're a much more... completely different. We've got a much more clever thing to do. So this is the school, the abandoned school that is oh. like an army facility right now. And uh, yeah, if we could get an army uniform. There's a lot of different ways you can grab an army uniform. Like I said, you can just kind of sneak in here through the back. Um, yeah, you could have gotten an army uniform from that guy that you murdered. That's true. Or knocked out. That's true. I need this crowbar for a few things. Let's put that in my jacket real quick. Attention, everyone. All right. The there is our... Yep. Keeper on lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks... Not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. All right. So then everybody gets to work, um, and I'm going to take a little bit of a a little bit of a shortcut here. It's pretty loud in here with the printers running, and the big thing is that I need to get these printers out of the way uh, for what I would like to do. Okay. So. Um, you can let them You're going to shove all three guys through the printing press so that it squashes them. No. And murders them. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, shove their bodies in the other side of the I don't think I I I, I don't think I can. Let me, I, here I'll try it. Let's see, just shove them in here. Yeah, on this side. On this side. Yeah, sh can you, no. can you, you're not. You can't throw them in there. No. Okay. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a thing. Uh, but we're gonna. Well, we're that that seems like a missed opportunity. I I agree. I agree. I mean, some of the other levels have the wood chipper. The old the old good old hitman wood chipper. Now, unfortunately, there's not a third place to hide a body in this room. So we're gonna put this guy. Uh, let's think this is about. Oh, right. so you can't put a third guy in that with that thing. Yeah, you can only put two people per thing. So I'm gonna put him back here. Uh, and then I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the printing press. And now we wait. And we can look at this little toy tank. Look at the little toy tank. Oh, yeah. Pick it up. Throw it at people. Can you murder a man with it? Uh, mm, no. No. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, you might be able to throw it at somebody's head. I think you might be able to use it like a like a club, maybe for what for one knockout. Um, but I don't know. I haven't really I haven't really ever tried that. Um, so how long we gotta wait? Uh, not that long. Not that long. Um, you can go check out all the stuff that's going on in this classroom. We got some paints and our printing press. More, more paint. paint. More paint. Lots of paint. There's actually a hole in the ceiling here no. that you can use to get to the second floor if you want. Um, ah. Hey, get those printers running. So yeah, the general is not a big fan of having the printers not running. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry. I've got to get more paint. We don't have enough paint in this room. So once he turns the printer back on, then, John, you're going to get your wish because get in there, motherfucker. Yeah. There you go. Oh, no. I like the way it says accident kill like somebody's going to be here. They're like, the general fell into the printing press, everyone. Oh, no. What happened? This is what a terrible mistake. He went head first into the printing press. And one of the printers was knocked out on the floor, and the other two printers were together in a little... Uh, a little laundry bin, if you know uh -huh. what I mean. They were together and in the, the laundry bin naked. And uh, uh, the fourth printer, he was just gone. So Clearly I guess it was an accident. It's a total accident. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. So, oh, we can get some. So one of, I've never been able to figure out how to do this. I got these big snail vendors here. Yeah. Uh, you could poison them snails. Uh, but I don't really know how you're supposed to kill yes. any of the, the uh, people with snail, poison snails. Um, Anyway, so our next step is to get into the consulate, and the there are a few different ways that you can do that. You can kind of sneak in. If you have an army uniform, you can do that. We're going to use an army uniform because I accidentally knocked that one guy out, or not accidentally, but I knocked that one guy out. Um, but the easiest way to get in there is to basically impersonate uh, the cameraman. Um, so there was a there's a news crew that is getting ready to go in. And they have a camera guy, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave this in here since I don't need it. Um, yeah, can I take that gun that's on the floor? Fuck no, I left my gun. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> they have a cameraman. Um, uh, their cameraman was sick, and so they're waiting for a replacement cameraman. The replacement cameraman is inside of this shisha bar smoking a hookah. Uh, so we're going to go in there. We're going to see if we can get, a, get access to him. Uh, but in order to get in there, we need a key card. We need a, a, a pass, like a VIP pass. Uh, and one of the places where you can get a VIP pass is over here. There's a few places where you can get one. I like this one, where if you just kind of come through this store, you can go up to the roof. And if I'm dressed as a military guy, I shouldn't be trespassing because there's a lady up here. You can knock her out, throw her in this box. This is also a great place. You can work your way around and, and um, actually get a good line of sight on the consulate mm. with a sniper rifle from here, which is what we'll do in the second part. Uh, and so here we can get the pass. And then we can go back down here. And now we can get into the um, thing. Oh, you know what? I need to like, I don't need a crowbar either. I'm done with that. <laughs> We're going to get um, padded down, uh, which is why I'm losing all my weapons. Okay. Uh, because if we have anything... And I could have... I could have... I actually have like a gun... And a, a melee weapon that can both be, that can both get through, like getting pat down. But I didn't want to use those uh, just in case. You know what? Um, there are some military guys in there. So before we go in there, I'm just going to go ahead and change back into 47's regular suit, um, just in case those guys are able to recognize me because it's not that far off the beaten path. So here we go. Have you now? You still haven't gotten around to like playing this game right no 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 it was uh i i watched you play enough of it that i was like eh, i'm good there we go somerset okay uh i have been present for many of uh these uh you playing these do you think you're gonna play the second one um i don't know i mean i've never really been big on the hitman games okay like it's just not kind of not my thing but i mean i don't know I never say never because I always end up playing something that I say, oh, I'm never going to play that. Oh, and then sure. you end up forcing me to take uh, Skyrim from you or, right. or, you know, or something. I think these two guys are like polar opposites okay. of each other. <laughs> you <can go> through. <laughs> um, so, Welcome, oh, good. That is the camera guy that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and head into this here and then, oh, shit. Okay. Well, 
Uh, this actually works to our advantage. This guy, he keeps also sounds like someone's uh, in the shitter mm. or was fart making fart noises. Oh, it might have been. I think he had the the faucet turned on. Uh, so let's get this. If anybody sees this, they'll get weirdly suspicious. So let's see. Can I put it up here? No, I'll just drop it on the floor. All right. So we missed our... Wait, is this guy still out here? No. Okay. The cameraman will come periodically over here and uh, uh, wash his hands. Now, we can actually um, poison, poison his shisha pipe uh, in here to get him to go in and throw up. But I think it's a lot easier just to... Uh, wait for him because he has a little cycle where he'll come back to the bathroom to wash his hands. I don't know if he's like OCD or what's going on, but something. Because um, they've got these little alcoves. I've also found it very difficult to, in an area like this where there's a lot of people, to set poison. I guess I could have been a waiter. The waiter uniform will let you fuck yeah. with things, but it's just a little bit difficult. Okay, so here he goes. I'm going to go ahead and hit over to the bathroom. What are you doing, buddy? Just standing there. He's checking your phone. Or yeah. He's checking his. He got some text messages. Hit, hit, he's hitting up Tinder. He's like, yo, girl, I'm in the shisha bar. Where are you at? So I'm going to go ahead and overflow this sink, which is a thing that will get somebody to come see what the fuck is going on. So hopefully that'll get him to come in. I don't know why he cares about this sink in this shisha bar so much. All right. And now we've got our cameraman uniform. Now, this isn't, I mean, like I said, there's a bunch of different ways to get into the embassy. This is probably the s most simple one, um, which should be immediately apparent by the fact that uh, I haven't managed to, um, uh, like, really fuck up or get caught at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and then, oops, oops, wrong place. And you can even get in here if you have a lock pick. This employee's only has a, a access from the outside, and you can get in that way. But oh, nice. once you've got the cameraman uniform, then you can go hook up with the news crew, and they will, like, just let you directly into the embassy. And you have a fair amount of latitude once you're in the embassy about where you go, as long as you're not a, a real dick face about it. So, um, let's see. Here's the camera crew. Hey guys. Finally, where have you been? Sorry, my streets aren't safe. Also, I was getting high. So, these folks are protesting the guy that we're going to go kill. Oh, well, the, that's good. They'll he, be happy about that. I believe that. he stole a bunch of money from the government, uh, and now he's hiding out in the embassy, in the consulate, the Swedish consulate. So. In fact, there's even a uh, there's even a little like uh, achievement type of thing. Yeah. This hitman has a bunch of little like sub achievements yeah, yeah, that you can yeah, do yeah, yeah. for knocking out the terror, or like making the terrorist leader or the not the terrorist leader, the protest leader guy, like knocking him out or like disabling him without killing him, um, which seems like kind of difficult to do when you're right in the middle of a huge crowd. Yeah. But. Uh, you can also get into the consulate by just jumping the fence over there, which is pretty easy. But this level is big. It's a real big level. The consulate has a whole underground uh, parking garage that's full of soldiers that has a tunnel that technically connects over to like a meeting point. So you can force uh, in an emergency, yeah. Zaydan and the, the banker will meet, and there's a bunch of different ways that you can kill them by getting them to meet up and then killing them that way. Okay. Oh, I will aim and shoot, all right. I will shoot him in the face. I mean, I will shoot him in his face. What? What is this guy doing? He's just like, nah, look at those protesters out there. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Shouldn't be too hard. We're here to interview. News. My name is Pearson. Your name is Person? Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. 
I feel like everybody in the Hitman games drinks out of like these little water bottles and then they just set them down and walk away from them. Like, who the fuck just sets their drink down and then they're just like, man, I gotta go somewhere else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch go some scowl news. I'm somewhere else. I'm gonna look at this breaking news over here and leave my water on the side of the concierge desk. Yes. Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Miss Pearson. So. We got to follow them in, and uh, there is a there is one of the um, assassination achievements that I've never really been able to get, which is putting a, a uh, like a remote explosive inside of one of the video cameras and blowing it Ooh. up. But this room is just so full of people. This room where they're having the interview with him. Come on, guys, your interview. I'm the cameraman. I'll go last. Oh, so you don't actually have that? I was actually curious. Like, how are you a cameraman without a fucking camera? No, see, they got the big camera here. Um, and then over here is the camera that you can put explosives in. But I feel like you got to do some kind of, like, like turn off the lights or hit the fire alarm or something because... So there's our target. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. And, John, can you, can you guess what we're going to do to him? Plan job? Do? No, I don't have a gun. I don't have anything. I've got... Uh, I've got a lockpick and some you coins. You're going to lockpick him to death? I'm going to jam that lockpick in his glasses. And I'm really just going to scratch him up. Scratch him up real nice. Then you can't see anything, motherfucker. Let's do this. And then he walks off a cliff. Hold on, you guys. i got to go check the uh, lighting. Uh, I'll be right back. Hold on for just a second. Oh, you're going to drop a, uh, uh, a lighting thing? I need to search you. He should be so lucky to just get just lights dropped on him, John. Lights would not be embarrassing. Lights would be an accident where they wouldn't have to You're change what through. happened in the newspaper. Hello, Jean Grey. You watch it. I'm a cameraman. Um, all right. Let's check out all these lights up here. Let's see. We got to uh, turn on the stage lamp. There we go. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Everything looks in order here. You're going to make it look like he's... Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to change whatever his background is. And mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to drop a moose on him. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! What happened? Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God. That's a fucking guy got a moose dropped on his head. Oh, shit, somebody saw me. All right, fuck. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, shit. I don't have any guns. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right. Well, now things are getting a little dicey, John. Now, you, you need to get the fuck out of here, lady, because I'm going to have to shoot my way out of here. Fuck. When you don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. Uh, I need one of these guys to come in here. Like that guy? Like this guy. Motherfucker! Okay, close the door. Close the Wait, I need a gun. I need him to come closer to me. Come closer. Come closer. Get, if, would you please come in here and not just be uh, just a jag? Oh, fuck. Here's this guy. Okay, here we go. Jag. Knock him out. Grab his gun. Okay. Uh, grab his disguise. All right, we're going to do some, some plan jeffing here. This is definitely not the way I expected things to go. Oh, I think that, um, okay, I think that things are, oh. No, they know it too. You know, I love how you had this, like, long, like, pl like simple plan. You're like, this is going to go great. There's no need for plan Jeff, no need for plan Jeff. Plan Jeff! And you fucked it up right at the end. Yep. I don't know who saw me or how they saw me. Uh, let's see. Hey, psst, hey, you. Hey, please look where you're going. Um, could you please? Hey, the hell? Come on. Now put him in that thing. Actually, if I can put him in this thing, I might be able to change outfits and then get the fuck out of here. Let's see. Nobody's okay. I see them coming. They're coming. Okay, can I just like? I'm at the location now, and I have nothing to report. Over. Okay. Woo! Perfect. Sometimes plan Jeff is okay. There's Sometimes I'm going. I'm going. Right. We're getting out of here. Oh, We're getting while the going gets oh, good. Oh no, you guys! Oh no, somebody's shooting people. Like we gotta all get out of here. Oh no, fuck! Ah uh, shit! There you go, John. It all. It didn't. It didn't. It, it was pretty bad, but not the worst. I'm gonna just go over up up and over here. Whoop! I don't want. That's be. not suspicious. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see. Head for head for this exit over here. Oh wait, am I in the wrong? Okay, no. Uh, Not suspicious at all. Gentlemen, excuse me. Pardon me. S excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, uh, is that in the military base? 
I don't think they'll let me through there. Let's see, I guess I'll just go over to this one. Hey, you know what? Uh, I didn't have to reload my game, and everything kind of worked out. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. The targets are dead. Yeah, no, they're dead. I had to shoot some guys. Y you did. I, I, I had to shoot a few guys. Quite but, a few. Uh, like two. Like the, people will never see their children. There are children who will never see their families, their parents. Well, you know, sometimes uh, the, the, the bad guys, you got to get rid of the bad guys, John. Sometimes you got to get rid of the bad guys. So anyway, <laughs> that's a couple of ways that you could do things. Now, I'm going to do... Um, we don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to do one more. Uno Mas. This is going to be a much faster run than the previous one. Now, I got a question for you. Yes. Obviously, the dude you were sent there to kill. Yes. Bad oh. guy. Totally um, needed to be eliminated. Uh huh. But were those guards bad guys? I mean, they're just hired. The hired security. The morality of Hitman. I mean, it. I mean, yeah, you could argue the whole, you know, all the people on the Death Star who weren't stormtroopers, you know, get them getting killed uh, as well. Does that, you know, did they deserve to die? But no. it's kind of that kind of thing. But, uh -huh. but like, you know, those they were security guards. They, you know, they're just doing their job. They're right. Just, you know, they're there, part of a security firm. It's not like they're like, I'm evil and I know I'm working for an evil man. You know, it's that's true. They were in my way. They started shooting at me. All I did, I, you know what? There was an accident and a moose fell on a guy. I happened to be in the room, but to immediately start shooting at me as if I am the perpetrator, I don't know what happened. There was some, there was some bad moose wiring that happened. That wasn't my fault, John. Okay. All, right. All right. I was just defending myself. This is America. Welcome this is not America. America. This is no, Marrakesh. No, this is Marrakesh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this time we're going to go in the, uh, oh, let's see, let me just make sure I got my my maps right here. So uh, what are we doing now? We are going to do, okay, yeah, I did get it wrong. Um, we are going to do a much faster set. We're going to kill the general in a really, so uh, when I first started this, this particular map and going through my, like, kind of mastery goals on it or whatever, um, there's a, a pretty simple way to get into the military base that's a lot faster. Am I fucking, I am so turned around right now. Okay. Clearly. Yes. All right. Um, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna shoot the other guy with a sniper rifle uh, because that's always fun to do as well. So uh, anyway, this guy's got a shop. He runs a shoe shop, and strangely, if you just do this, whoop, you can get totally around this guy. There's actually a bunch of coins over here. There's a an achievement. You remember the shisha bar? Uh -huh. There was a big um, uh, fountain in the middle of the shisha bar. There's actually an, a, uh, one of the little achievements is to put six coins in the fountain, which okay. you can totally easy to you do. Got five. Bling, bling, bling. There are three or four more over there that you could totally get. Um, so you can get in here, as you saw, really, really quickly, right? And then... Tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel. It's way fast. Yeah, yeah. So I guess now you gotta take that guy out. Yeah, these two are gonna split. I'm gonna run over here and grab this hammer because it's always nice to have a hammer. I'm gonna wait for him to kind of start going down the stairs, then go around behind him. This way is so simple. It's a, such an easy way to get a guard uniform, and guard uniforms get you 90% of places. So then you go, whomp, grab him. This is a thing that you can put people in for some reason. Uh, it's a locker. Yep. Grab his soldier uniform. Now, this area, there's his consulate key card. This area actually is an underground tunnel that leads all the way back to the consulate. And I'll show people that might be trying to play this game just really quickly. Uh, there's one guard down here that's, like, suspicious of you um, that is right there. But on this table... Um, are the, right there, those little three things, those are remote explosives. So that's a useful, uh, useful. There's also a shotgun and some pistols and stuff down here. The other useful thing is that up against the wall, I believe over, is it over here? In some place in this area, up against one of the walls, there is a, an alarm that if you pull it will make both of the targets meet at the school, right? Mm, it's basically okay. like the oh shit alarm. And uh, one of the really fun things to do there is in front of the school, there are a couple of APCs. One of them has a turret that is pointed directly at where the two of them meet, and you can basically mow down a whole shit ton of people with it. But we have a different thing in mind, so we're going to just come back the way we came, which everybody's going to be fine with because we're now dressed like a soldier. Gentlemen, 
And then I believe if we go up here, yep, this is the military base. Only Doop the best doop. men. You know it. You know it. General Zayden keeps coming so down. with the, uh, we have to watch out for the, um, these guys, the guys with the red hats. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, we can kind of go wherever the fuck we want to. And this time we are going to uh, do something a little bit different. So let's see. Uh, if I can remember exactly where these guys are that I'm looking for. Let's see, there's a general. Okay, there's the general is over there. The general doesn't want to see us. Okay, see these two guys? They're sitting around complaining. Um, and if we turn this on. Then all of their complaining is being broadcasted. So eventually, Zaydan's going to get uh, mad at them, and he's going to come in to yell at them. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. And then you push the toilet on top. And of then him. you push the toilet right on his fucking head. So he's over is there that right, right now. Is that what I, is yes. That what yes. <laughs> what? What? You you think this conspicuous toilet with the little eye, there's a little chevron that says that you can do something with it? You think you might do something with it? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh wait. The first thing that happens is Zaydan comes in here to um, look at them. To, to like look down on them and be like those guys that and he will recognize you I think you might be able to push him that'd be kind of hilarious but he's like oh you guys because they realize what's happening and then they turn the the radio off and then as soon as he leaves here I think that you'll hear them say like I, no I'm sure he didn't hear us I'm sure it's fine those dogs are going to regret this but this is a really fun area. It's yeah. got a lot of a lot of little ins and outs and what have you. It's uh, it's in my opinion, it's pretty close to Sapienza as being like, because uh, what the the one the next level is a is a hotel. The level after that is the militia camp. The level after that is a hospital. So this is like the other level that's just like a city as opposed to like a, a specific area where things take place. Um, all right, so here comes Zaydan. Doop, 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 doop. I'm assuming you got to wait for him to get into a right position or something. Yeah. Shame on you. Bong. Move on to Klaus Strand. Uh, now, some of these guys seem like they're a little, I don't know, they might just be up, more upper tier soldiers. Uh, but yeah, you do kind of have to look out for them. This room is the room where um, if you come in here, you could take the place of this guy oh. and then you can kind of uh, strangle him. Okay, somebody's looking for me. Oh, shit. Hello? Hey, you. This is a restricted area. Oh, shit. It's a restricted area. Uh, well, fuck. <laughs> Get some plan, Jeff. I don't think anybody saw me do that, so I think I should be okay to leave. <laughs> yep. Yep. Killed all the witnesses. Uh, should be fine. I, as always, right, you know, there's totally an achievement in this level for, like, beat the level in the suit without anybody seeing you do anything. No witnesses, no collateral damage, yeah. no knockouts, which is entirely possible. I haven't done it yet. Of but course like, not. Um, but, you know, uh, it is entirely possible. Now, one of the nice things about the way that I've decided to go about the second one is that because um, we have the military uniform, military uniform, as you see, lets us carry weapons openly. Um, and I didn't think I realized this when I first started, but, like, if I brought one of the custom sniper rifles into this level, yeah. I could also carry that around openly because I have a military uniform on. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. So anyway, we're going back up to the same area where we were, where the we got the pass the last time. Yeah, yeah. Where this lady was. We're just gonna go ahead and skip that lady, and we're gonna go over here. Um, wait, hold on. Where is our? Okay, no, it's over there. So we're gonna go back over here. Yep. yep. Everybody's kung fu fighting. We're gonna go up here. Oop. And I set a large agency pickup. 
um, over here. So we're going to go ahead and drop down. Kind of shimmy along here. Oop. And drop down here, drop down here. And here we have our large agency pickup, which is the sniper rifle that you get with the DLC. So I'm going to go back up here. Look how casual he is when he's walking along these little ledges. He's yeah. just like, doop, ba, doop, doop, doop. Well, well, he knows what he's doing. He's yeah. not, he's yep. done. I don't know. He's I, trained for this. He I knows what he's doing, genetically man. Genetically engineered for this. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, if we wait, Klaus will come and stand and look out the window, and we will have an excellent shot at him from right here. Let's see. I'll wait for him to come out to where this guard is. What? Is there lightning in there? Looked like a foot, like he's taking photos. Oh, maybe that's it. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of different cool ways to kill both of these. This maybe not doesn't have the, the funnest ways of all time, but I feel like it's a really good intro to Hitman because, you know, as you start out, as you... As you keep leveling up, you can do things like start out as the snail, as a snail vendor, or start out as one of the guys that's in the military barracks. Like you can start out in, inside of the consulate as one of the janitors, um, and all those things. Okay, I'm kind of tired of. Okay, there he is. Let's see. Oh well, is he? Uh, oops, shit. Both there we go. Down. All right. An and that's one way to do it. Probably, if I hadn't have fucked around and killed those guys, this would have been pretty decent because. We shot that guy with the sniper rifle, but other than that, we didn't, and we knocked out that one guy to get his uniform, but there weren't any witnesses to anything else. Um, maybe the guys in the barracks who saw the toilet drop on the guy's head? Maybe. But i uh, pretty sure there's an exit right over here. Do, 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 do. So anyway, that's Hitman Marrakesh, and you know what? It's fucking free, and it's free, I believe, until the end of the month. So, like, I love this game so much, I think that it's worth... Um, it's worth the low price of zero, right? It's worth checking out for zero dollars and zero cents. Uh, maybe you'll find what I found, and it'll be your new favorite uh, game of all time. Anyway, patreon.com forward slash rage select is where you can go to kick us some bucks. That's our Patreon. You guys know how Patreon works. Yeah, you do. Kick us some bucks, and in return, we'll kick you bonus videos that nobody else gets to see. Uh, Amazon links down below if you want to buy Hitman through Amazon, or if you want to buy anything through Amazon, start by clicking on those links, and we get a little piece of whatever it's you buy. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take off, so we'll see you next time. Later.